Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I am filming my highly anticipated MAC lipstick dupes. So I am really excited. I took like two or three hours swatching all of my MAC lipsticks and then I have a few other like YSL lipsticks that I swatched um, all to find you dupes. So here they are all laid out on my bed. Um, I'm just going to go through them one by one. Some I think are exact du dupes, some are color matches. I'll tell you if there's like a different finish. Um, but these are as the closest that I have in my collection and I think they are really, really close dupes for you. So much so that if I would have known that I had the dupe, I would never have gone out and purchased the high-end one or the MAC one. But I love my MAC lipsticks, so I hate to ever say that I regret it, but if you are looking for great dupes that are available to you and affordable, then this is the video for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the dupe. Okay, my first dupe is for Max Angel. And the dupe I have for it is um, Matte Lipstick in 101. These, the Rimmel one is a little bit more, is, is matte and Angel is a frost, but Angel comes out on the lips almost the same. This one right here is the Rimmel and this is Max Angel right here. Different finishes, close to the same color, almost appear the exact same on the lips. Okay, next one up is Max Hue and Maybelline's Nude Nuances. Max Hue is a glaze, Nude Nuances is more of a cream finish, but so similar when applied to the lips. This is Max Hue and this is Nude Nuances. Nude Nuances has a little bit more peachy um, and it's a little bit more opaque than Max Hue, but almost identical. Okay, next one is Max Lovelorn. This, this is a luster. And the dupe for it is Strawberry Shortcake Lip Butter from Revlon. Okay, so here is Max Lovelorn. Here's Max Lovelorn and here is Strawberry Shortcake. Another thing that I think is similar but a little bit brighter is Revlon's Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain right here in Sweet. So similar on the lips, these two, the Lip Butter and Lovelorn. Okay, next up is Max... Pure Zen is Pure Zen, and then this is the Revlon Lip Butter and Creamsicle. I think I showed this one before. And this is Max Lipstick in Pure Zen, and then that is in Creamsicle right here. So you can see they are pretty close dupes. When I wear these on the lips, I love the look that this gives, but so, so close, even the same time. Okay, next up, this is Mac. This is Twig from Mac. Twig is a satin finish, and this is Afternoon Tea from the Maybelline Porcelain Collection. Now these two swatched are so close. This is Max Twig, and this is Afternoon Tea. So similar, even the same finish. So if you had if you had your hands on the Afternoon Tea from the Maybelline 870. If you had got your hands on this one, it's exact same dupe for Max. Okay, Twig. next up, this is Mac Red, which is a satin finish, and this is the Wet n Wild collection in 911D Stop Light Red. These two are pretty close dupes for each other. This is Mac Red over here, and this is Stop Light Red. As you can see, Stop Light Red is just a little bit, a little bit brighter, but on the lip they essentially are the same. The Wet n Wild one is a matte finish and the MAC one is a satin finish so they are both a little bit drying but very close dupes for one this another. This is one of my favorites from MAC. This is Party Parrot. It is a matte finish lipstick. This is number 300 Flame from CoverGirl. These are so similar and I didn't even realize. Here is MAC Party Parrot and this one right here is Flame from CoverGirl. Even close to the same finish. This one is a matte finish from MAC, but this one 
appears to be a matte finish, but it's like a creamy matte finish. If you weren't able to get your hands on Party Parrot, you can just pick up CoverGirl's Flame and it is dupe. Another CoverGirl dupe. This is Up the Amp, which is one of my favorite purple colors to wear from MAC. And this one is Divine, number 330 from CoverGirl. This one right here is Max Up the Amp. And this one right here is Divine from CoverGirl. Exact dupe. Next up, this is from the Marilyn Monroe collection. This is Scarlet Ibis. Ibis. And this is Rimmel's number, uh, Kate Moss lipstick in number 12. Yep. Uh, these are very similar dupes. They're both, they both have a very nice matte finish. This one right here is Scarlet Ibis. This one right here is, is Rimmel's number 12. On that side and that. So, there are Next up, this is Vegas Volt. It is an amplified and this one is... 674 the Revlon super lustrous line this is in coral berry these two are dupes for each other this right here is max Vegas vault and this is Revlon's coral berry Vegas vault is one of my favorite colors to wear in the spring this is max Viva glam Nikki And this is Wet n Wild's matte collection in number 968 Pinker Bell. The Wet n Wild is matte and this one is a satin. So they have very similar finishes because satins come across a little drying. So this one right here is the MAC one in Viva Glam Nikki. And this right here is the Wet n Wild. Here's another one, another dupe from CoverGirl. This is Max Crosswires, and this is CoverGirl's 405 Fairy Tale. Crosswires is a cream sheen, and Fairy Tale has a very similar formula. So this one right here is Max Crosswires, and this right here is Fairy Tale from CoverGirl. They are dupes for each other, exact dupes. Okay, these are also identical. This is Max Dark Side, which is a amplified. And this is Revlon Super Lustrous in Black Cherry, number 477, and it's a cream. This is Dark Side from MAC, and this is Black Cherry. They are identical dupes for one another. It's Max Hot Gossip, and it is a cream sheen. And this is sugar plum a revlon lip butter in sugar plum they don't look like they're exact like in the tube but when you swatch them this is max hot gossip and that's sugar plum very similar okay next one this is max plumful and it's a luster and this is revlon or maybelline's 175 bit of berry these are not exact because the luster is a little bit more sheer, but it's the same color match. Bit of Berry uh, is a cream formula. When you swatch them next to each other, they are so This so. one from MAC is from the Marilyn Monroe collection. This is in Love Goddess, and it is a satin. And this is from Wet n Wild, and it's 965 Cherry Picking. These two are so similar. So if you couldn't get your hands on love goddess these have almost the same because satins are a little bit more drying than mattes so but it's the same color match that is max love goddess and that is cherry picking by wet n wild okay now these two are not exact but this is dish it up from mac and it was from the shop cook shop mac collection and this is moisture but remmel's moisture renew in vintage pink 380 here are the swatches this one is max dish it up and that one is the Moisture Renew by Rimmel. This one is a little bit more pigmented, a little bit brighter, but it's a pretty similar match. Okay, this is Heartless from the Venomous Villains collection, and it is a Amplified, and this is Maybelline's Are You Ready? 
that's Heartless and that's Are You Ready. Are You Ready is a little bit more orange but very, very similar. Okay, the next one is a YSL lipstick and this is YSL number one. This is a YSL Rouge Volup in number one. And I think it's called Nude Beige. This is a Color Whisper, Maybelline Color Whisper in 25 Lust for Blush. And I feel like these are really good dupes. That is the YSL one and that is the Maybelline. So YSL, Maybelline. Okay, this is Max Pink Pigeon. And it is a matte, and this is the new Fergie Wet n Wild in Penthouse Sweet. Uh, the Pink Pigeon is a little bit brighter, but they're pretty close. This is Pink Pigeon, and this is Fergie's Penthouse Sweet. Okay, this is a cream sheen, and it's Naughty Saute. Naughty Saute from MAC. It came out in the Shop Cook Shop MAC collection. And this is number 30 Tiger Lily Treat from Maybelline. Here is Naughty Saute from MAC, and that's Tiger Lily Treat. I think that the Maybelline one was a limited edition as well, but if you happen to have it in your collection, then you would never need to pick up the MAC one. So some of the Mabel some of the drugstore ones might be limited edition but this is also for everyone so some people might have them in their collection and be like oh well I have that dupe for the MAC lipstick so this is just about dupes it's not about so this is just about dupes because you know I just want to find dupes in my collection so I'm sorry if some of these from the drugstore end are limited edition I don't think a whole whole lot of them are but some of them are. Glam Gaga 1 and this is Strawberry Shortcake from Revlon Lip Butter. These two are very similar. That's Gaga 1. It's a little bit brighter, but that's Strawberry Shortcake. Pretty similar. This next one, this is a MAC Pro Longwear in... Pro Longwear Lip Cream in Love Forever, which is one of my favorites. I like to wear it with this shirt, actually. And then this is the Fergie in VIP. VI Pink. So these are very similar. This is one from MAC and it's a little bit darker, but that's the one that's VI Pink. Very similar. This next one, this is MAC's Cream Cup and this is Revlon 660 Primrose. This Primrose is a little bit bluer than MAC's. This is MAC's Cream Cup and that's Revlon's Primrose. Deeply Adored from the Maryland Collection. And this is this is a Rummel lipstick, the collection by Kate Moss in number eleven. These are both have similar finishes. This is the Mac one right here, and that's the Kate Moss one. Okay, next up is Modesty by Mac, and this is Fergie's Fergie Daily in the new Wet n Wild Fergie collection. That's Modesty. And that's Fergie Daily. Very similar. Okay, this is Max Sunny Soul. And this is Nearly Nude by e.l.f. Now they don't look like they'd be that similar. But when they come out, this is Max Sunny Soul. And that is Nearly Nude. So they're very, very similar swatched. Okay, next one. This is a YSL Rouge Volup number 13. And this is Just Peachy 903C from Wet n Wild. This is the YSL and that is the Wet n Wild. So similar. This one has more of a sheen to it. This is more matte. This is Max Viva Glam 5, which is one of their famous ones, and this is L'Oreal's Ferris Nude. Here's Viva Glam 5 and L'Oreal's Ferris Nude. Viva Glam 5 has a little bit more of a sheen, and Ferris Nude is a cream formula, so just take that into consideration. But such similar colors. It's Moxie from MAC. It's a matte, so this is different. This is a cream formula. This is Revlon Super Lustrous Cherries in the Snow. 
These are just very similar. They are not identical. This is Moxie, which is matte, and this is Cream Formula Ch Revlon's Cherries in the Snow. Next up is one of my favorite lipsticks. This is Max Impassioned. And this one is Maybelline's 870 Shocking Coral. It's one of the new Vivid lipsticks with the orange caps. These are pretty close dupes for one another. This is the one from MAC, Impassioned, and this is Shocking Coral. This is MAC's Japanese Maple, and this is Revlon's Color Burst line in Soft Nude. That's Mac's Japanese Maple, and that's Revlon Soft Nude. Okay, this is um, Cut a Caper from Mac, and this is Revlon Color Burst line in Peach, 075 Peach. That is Cut a Caper, and that is Peach. Cut a Caper has a little bit more pink to it than Peach does. Okay, the last one. This is from the. This is from the Marilyn Monroe collection. This is Charmed, I'm Sure, which is a matte. And this is from R Rimmel's Moisture Renew line. It's called 400 Berry Queen. This one is Charmed, I'm Sure. And this one is the Moisture Renew. Only difference is this is a matte finish and this has a little bit of a sh shine finish. Same color. Okay, phew. I'm done. So that took me forever. I'm sorry the video was so long. I hope you all got some great dupes. Um, thank you so much for watching and share with all of your friends who are looking to save money on finding great dupes for MAC lipsticks in drugstore. In the drugstore. I think I realized that Revlon's really good at dupes. Maybelline has a lot of dupes, so you can find them if you're looking. I found a dupe for the majority of my collection, so my matte collection, so that was exciting um, and saddening <laughs> that I have so many dupes in my collection. But um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful. And if you know any great dupes, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.